Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ivona and today I'm very excited to share with you this Pilates routine for sciatica. So we are going to focus on really decompressing your spine, especially that lower back. We're going to be introducing some stretches for the hips and also we're going to focus on strengthening your core and back muscles. So for this routine, I'm going to use a pillow and also a resistance band. If you don't have a resistance band, you can always grab a towel or just old hoodie, something that you can hold on to. Okay, so we're gonna start on your tummy and you want to have a pillow underneath your belly. If the pillow is quite flat, you can fold it over one time like I'm doing and then just put the pillow underneath your belly. <coughs> so your belly is lifted. And then you're going to stack the fist on top of each other. Legs are nice and relaxed on the ground. And we're just going to start with deep breathing. So I want you to inhale into the pillow. So the belly pushes out into the pillow as you inhale. And then exhale. Let the belly just gently sink down towards your belly button. So inhale into the pillow. And then exhale, just release. We're going to inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Feel the belly expands into the pillow. And then as you exhale, you just let it go. Now let's do a couple more deep breaths together. Exhale. Another two breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale deeply. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. And then from here, I want you to bend your right knee. <clears throat> Grab your foot. And just gently apply a little bit of a pressure on the foot. And you're going to start to feel a bit of a stretch into your quads, into the front of the thigh. Make sure the knee is right underneath that hip. It doesn't go out to the side. And same thing, we're just going to connect to the breath. So inhale, expanding your belly into the pillow. And exhale, just letting it go. Inhale, expand your belly into the pillow. And we exhale. Let's do it one more time. Inhale. And exhale. And if your quads feel quite tight, feel free to stay here a little bit longer if you want to. All right, we're going to switch. So <clears throat> bend your left knee, grab the foot, support your head, and just breathe into the belly. So hopefully this feel like a nice deep stretch. Usually if you suffer with sciatica, I found that the quads <clears throat> are really, really tight. So they need to be stretched. Let's do one more inhale. And exhale. Good. And then release. And then from here, you're going to bend your <clears throat> knee out to the side. Good, so you're going to feel a stretch into the front of the hip. If you're getting cramp or anything, feel free to lower the knee down a little bit. So, But ideally, the knee should be as high as the hip. And again, just continue breathing into the pillow. So we got breath in, breath out. Breath in, breath out. Good, another two breaths. Good. And then see if you can come up onto the forearms. And of course, if this gives you back pain or if it's too much for you, you're going to stay down low and you just carry on with the breathing. If you are on your forearms, we're just going to hold this for, let's say, five breaths. So breath in through the nose. Breath out through the mouth. Breath in. And out. If the pillow is too high or it doesn't feel good in your back, you can 
get rid of it as well. <coughs> no need for the pillow if you doesn't feel good. And we're going to slowly lower down, switching legs, so the other knee goes out to the side, as high as you possibly can get it. And we're just going to stay low to start with, so breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, expanding that belly, and we exhale. So I really want you to work with the breath, and I really want you to focus on that expansion of the belly into the pillow. Let's do one more inhale and big exhale. And then from here, we're going to come up onto the forearms <clears throat> and we're just going to hold and breathe. Inhale for one, exhale for one, inhale for two. Exhale for two. Inhale for three. And exhale for three. Inhale for four. And exhale for four. Inhale for five. And exhale for five. Good. And then you're going to release. <coughs> Stretch the leg back. Maybe rock your hips from side to side. Good. And then from here, <coughs> so uh, the pillow is still underneath your belly. Your hips are down on the ground, if possible. You're going to make a diamond shape with your hands. You're going to place the diamond just underneath your forehead. And then from here, you're going to inhale as you exhale. Think about pressing your hips down into the floor so you're going to feel your lower back starts to lengthen. Press the forearms into the ground and just gently hover the head and your chest or your breastbone off the ground, just a little bit. So nice extension in the spine. Lower back stays long. You're gonna inhale into it. And then exhale, release all the way down to the floor. So let's try that again. So we're gonna inhale, prepare. And then as you exhale, press the pubic bone down into the floor. So think about lengthening your back. Press the forearms down into the ground, pull your shoulder blades away from the ears, and then just lift your head and your chest off the ground a little bit, not too high. You keep looking down to the floor, don't look forward. Inhale to hold, and we exhale, re release back down. Let's try three more times, breath in. Exhale, press the pubic bone down, lengthen the lower back first, reach the crown of the head forward, and press the forearms, and let the chest lift up. <clears throat> breath in to hold breath out to release all the way down I've got one more like that nice big inhale big exhale press your hips down hover the chest pull the shoulder blades down chin stays drawn into the chest breath in hold breath out to release now from here we're going to inhale Exhale, press your pubic bone down into the floor, hover the chest off the floor. Good. Looking down at the mat, breath in. And then as you exhale, without shifting the weight to the right, can you hover your right arm off the ground? Inhale, lower. Exhale, can you hover your left arm off the ground? And back down. And exhale, right arm lifts off the ground, back down, and exhale, left arm lifts off the ground. Good, one more time. Of course, if this causes you any pain in your lower back, don't do this, just rest. And last one, exhale, right arm lifts, inhale, lower, exhale, left arm lifts, and lower, breath in, hold. 
and breath out to release. Good. We're going to place the hands underneath your shoulders. Push yourself up slowly, slowly, slowly. Come onto the hands and your knees. Move the pillow to one side. And then from here, <clears throat> see if you can lengthen the spine. So arching the back, looking forward or up to the ceiling. And then as you exhale, just release back to neutral. Try not to tuck under too much. Just release back to neutral. And then again, just gently arching the back. I look forward or up. And then exhale, release that curve. Just go to neutral. And last time, we're going to arch the back. I look up to the ceiling and then exhale, release back to that neutral position. So we're not tucking under, we're not arching the back. We are in neutral, so the sit bones are reaching straight back behind us. And we're going to maintain the position as we shift your hips back. But don't let your tailbone tuck under. So stay in neutral, shift your hips back and then inhale to come forward. And again, exhale. Nothing is changing the spine, we're just moving your hips back. You're going to feel a little bit of a stretch in front of the hip here. And then inhale to come forward. And one more time, we're going to shift your hips back. Staying in neutral. And we're going to come forward. And then you're going <clears> to <throat> rotate your knees in. So bringing your knees in, feet turn out. So the knees are almost touching, your feet are as wide as the mat. So the hip <clears throat> the thigh bone is internally rotated in the socket and then we're going to go back so it's going to be tiny movement and we're going to come forward and we shift your hips back small range of movement you're going to probably feel tightness in the hip and we come forward and let's do it two more times so we're going to shift back and we come forward and last time, shift back. And we come forward. Well done. And then we're going to externally rotate your thighs. So the knees are wider than your hips. Big toes touching. Neutral spine. So the sit bones are still reaching back behind you. And then we're going to shift your hips back, but without tucking your tailbone under. So don't round your back. Just staying in neutral. Go as far as you can go without tucking your tailbone under. And then come forward. And then shift your hips back, go as far as you can go. And then come forward. So there's definitely more range of movement when your legs are externally rotated. You're going to feel that. Let's do that two more times. Exhale. And last time we go back. Good. And then we're going to bring your knees back into that lovely position. So the knees are underneath your hips, hands are underneath the shoulders. And then one more time, we're going to arch the back, look forward or up to the ceiling and then release back to neutral. Let's do one more for good luck. Arch the back and release. So from here, <clears throat> we're going to do a pigeon pose. So you might need your pillow here. So we're going to start on the left leg. So I want you to bring your left shin forward. Ideally, the shin should be parallel to the edge of the mat. But if you can't get that, that's OK. You're going to walk your right leg back. And if your right left buttock cheek doesn't touch the floor, you're going to grab your pillow and you're just going to tuck it under your left buttock cheek. And then we're going to keep that spine nice and long. <clears throat> just make sure you're not pushing your chin to the ceiling. Just draw the chin in so the chin is parallel to the floor. And just breathe here. If you have any pain in your knee joint, you might have to come out of that position. So any pain in the knee, don't do this pose. If you are in this position and you feel a stretch around your buttock, maybe into the thigh, the outer thigh, then that's great. That's what you want to feel. We're just going to hold it here, breathe into the belly. And then if you feel quite flexible, you can go down onto the forearms. But don't let your head drop. See if you can keep your head nice and lifted. So the head is in line with the rest of the spine. And then we're going to hold for another three breaths. So we're going to inhale, expand your belly. Exhale. 
Inhale, expand your belly. Exhale. Good. One more time. Breath in, expand your belly. And out. Good. Let's come onto the hands and your knees. Good. And we're going to stretch your left leg back, tuck your toes under, and then just bounce into the leg to stretch it out. <clears throat> Good, and we're going to do the other side. So we're going to bring your right chin forward. Ideally, shin parallel to the edge of the mat. Foot is flexed. And again, if the right buttock cheek doesn't touch the ground, you're going to take your pillow, you're going to tuck it under. <clears throat> and we're just going to hold a nice long spine. <clears throat> really focus on expanding your belly on the inhale. And then we're going to lower down onto the forearms, if you can. If you can't, stay where you are. Relax your shoulders. Lengthen the back of the neck. Breathe into the belly. Good. Let's take a one more deep breath into the belly and exhale. Good. And I'm going to release. We're going to stretch that right leg back behind you and just going to pulse into the lack. Good. And then release. Good. So from here, we're going to lie down on your back. <clears throat> Good, so we want to have a neutral spine here, so a little curve in the lower back. We're going to hug that right leg into the chest and just gently start to draw little circles here. Very gently. And then change direction. And then relax, we're going to take your right leg over to the left. Keep pulling the knee to the chest. You're going to feel a stretch in your right buttock cheek. Stretch the right arm over your head and turn your gaze to the right. Deep breaths. Notice if you are pushing your chest up to the ceiling. Can you soften your ribs down towards the mat? Good. We're going to come back to the center, bend your left knee, place your right ankle on top of the left thigh, push that right knee away from you and hold behind your left thigh. Now make sure you have a little curve in the lower back. So imagine you have a blueberry underneath your lower back and you don't want to squash it with your lower back. You are want to create a little, a little space there underneath your spine. If your chin is poking up to the ceiling, grab the pillow place the pillow underneath your head make it really comfy for yourself just hold and breathe relax your shoulders good one more breath You're gonna release and we're gonna stretch that right leg forward, hug that left knee to the chest, draw little circles with that left knee, stirring that left thigh bone in a hip socket. Change direction. Now 
I'm gonna take your left leg over to the right, stretch your left arm over your head, turn your head, look to your left side, and just breathe. Good, coming back to the center, bending your right knee, left ankle over the right thigh, hold behind your right leg, little curve in the lower back, relax your shoulders and breathe. Good, and then we release. <coughs> Place your feet down, just shake the legs out. And then grab your band, or if you have a belt, grab a belt. And then we're gonna step your feet in so the legs are hip distance apart. And then what we're going to do, we are gonna extend your right leg up to the ceiling, feeling the stretch in your hamstring, bend, and then exhale to switch. Left leg stretches up, inhale to bend. And right leg stretches up, Give your hamstring a nice stretch and bend. And left leg stretches up. So making sure there's no twist in the foot or the knee or the hip. We want to make sure the middle of the knee aligns with the second toe. So no twisting in the legs. Let's do one more. And one more on the left leg. Good, and then let's see if we can extend both legs up. Good, and then just gently rocking your pelvis from side to side. If it's too much, bend your knees, or again, if you start to feel any sharp pain in your leg, absolutely don't do this. So listen to your body. That's the most important thing. So the legs can be completely straight if you have the flexibility or you can bend your knees if it's too much. And just rocking from side to side. Good, and then we're gonna bend your knees. <coughs> we're gonna release down and then take the pillow away from you and making sure we are in neutral here. So we don't want to be pushing the lower back into the floor, that's not good for your disc. We wanna keep the tailbone nice and anchored and heavy on to the mat. From here, we're gonna inhale. And as you exhale, we're gonna flow that right leg up into tabletop. So the knee is over the hip and the shin is parallel to the ceiling. And we're gonna inhale. And we exhale, we're gonna lift that left leg up. So the both legs are lifted. I'm not tucking under, I'm staying in that neutral position. Bottom of the ribcage heavy, and we're actually gonna rest our hands here on the bottom of the ribcage. So we're gonna inhale into the, into the hands. And then as you exhale, wait for the tummy to draw in slightly towards the spine. And then stretch your right leg forward. Inhale, come back to the center, let your ribs expand. As you exhale, feel the ribs close and then extend your left leg forward as the ribs close and then inhale expand your ribs exhale wait for the ribs to close extend your right leg forward inhale to come back expand your ribs exhale let the ribs close and then extend your left leg forward and inhale now carry on like this if it's too much on your back you're just gonna work with the breath and you're gonna extend your leg forward on the ground. So you would just slide one leg forward as you exhale, inhale to bring it back in, exhale, you would extend your left leg forward, bring it back in. 
If you start to feel any tension into the neck and your upper back, grab that pillow, prop your head, make it really work for your body, okay? So let's do another three on each side. Breath in and we exhale. So we are strengthening your core muscles. Good, let's do one more on each leg. Good, and then from here, just hug your knees to your chest and then rock your hips from side to side. <clears throat> Nice. We're gonna do a slightly different exercise. So your legs are back up into the tabletop position. You have that little curve in the lower back, hands on the rib cage again. Inhale into the ribs. As you exhale, wait for the ribs to close and then lower your right toes down to the floor. Inhale, expand your ribs. Exhale, wait for the ribs to close and lower the left foot down to the floor. Breath in. Breath out, wait for the ribs to close, and then lower your right leg down. Back up. And exhale. So if you are doing this correctly, you should feel your ribs and your tummy shaking. Mine is shaking. Let's do one more. Exhale, wait for the ribs to close. And then release that pressure. And exhale, create a little pressure, let the ribs close. And then inhale to release the pressure. Well done, hug your knees to the chest. And then just gently rock from side to side. Good. And then from here, we're gonna roll over onto your side, push yourself up. And we're gonna work the abdominals in this position. <clears throat> so your hands are underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. Again, neutral spine, so a little curve in the lower back. You're gonna inhale, and then as you exhale, just lift your belly button up towards your spine, away from your T-shirt, and then just hover the knees off the ground, just a tiny, tiny bit, and we're gonna hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we release. So make sure <clears throat> when you hold this position, you are breathing through it. Let's do that again. So we've got breath in, breath out. Pull the navel in towards the spine. Maintain the neutral position and then hover your knees off the ground just a tiny bit. And we're gonna hold for 10, nine, looking down at the mat, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one to release. Good, shake out the wrists. <clears throat> We're gonna go on to our forearms. We're gonna stretch one leg back, then the other leg back. <clears throat> so nice straight line, elbows underneath your shoulders, tuck your chin in, look down. If it's too much for you, you can always drop your knees to the floor. And then we're gonna inhale as you exhale, we're just gonna hold it here. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Walk your hands back towards your knees. <clears throat> Sit down onto the heels and just stretch your arms. Good. One more breath. Interlace the fingers behind your back, stretch through the shoulders, lift the breastbone up to the ceiling. Good, one more breath. And we release. Good, roll your shoulders back and roll your shoulders forward. Good, so <clears throat> let's finish off the session sitting in a cross-legged position. So this is a really good position as well for to open up the hips. But now, if you really feel that your hips are much higher than your knees and you're rounding your back, you need to sit up on a couple of 
pillows or a blanket, something that's gonna lift your hips up. So sit up nice and tall. And then inhale the arms up to the ceiling, grow your spine tall, interlace the fingers, stretch through the arms, relax your shoulders, and then take a breath in. And as you exhale, if it's okay for your back, you're gonna side bend to one side, just creating length through that side body. And then inhale, we come up. And then exhale, we're gonna side bend to the other side. Again, only if it's okay for your back. And then inhale, come up. And then press your arms back and look up to the ceiling. So gently arching the spine. And then as you exhale, roll your wrists and relax your arms and your shoulders. Well done, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you share it with your friend and subscribe to my channel. And feel free to leave a comment as well. I will try to reply to you as soon as possible. That's it from me. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.